his nuclear arsenal this past weekend, showing off to the world what Russia is capable of before he launched his full-scale invasion into Ukraine. Uh, it was, you know, unnerving in its own terms as it's meant to be. But those exercises took on new meaning uh, when Putin just went ahead and said it, when he offered a thinly veiled threat that if any nation dared to try to stop him from invading Ukraine, they would be met with the threat of nuclear war. We come out here, man, and these are people who passed away, you know, that was once living, that was once walking like I am right now, that was once talking like I am, and these people are resting in peace. And we all know that when we die, there's a place that we have to go. And there ain't but one or two places you can go. And that is, it's either be hell or it's going to be heaven. But we're, that's all determined by the way we carry ourselves and our acts and our deeds while we're living here on, fire, on God's planet. I'm not really good with words. You know, the only thing that I can just genuinely say, you know what I'm saying, is, is, is what I believe that the Spirit moves me to say. We can't let evil succumb us. You know, times has changed. Wars is going on. War over in Ukraine and Russia. And you got thousands and thousands of people dying every day. It's not right. You know, these are things that come to pass. These are the things that the Bible say. I believe only one true religion, that's Jesus Christ. I know I may say things, you know what I mean, that may not, that may sound crazy, it may not mean to seem right to you, but I've had a spiritual awakening. And I understand that there is a Father, there is a God. I understand that Jesus does sit on the throne. And I'm trying to save my soul. Pacific Standard Time, 12 different locations across the globe were reached in what appears to have been a coordinated attack by an unknown enemy. Breaches were along the coastline in what is a campaign of rapid dominance. I can't look at what is going on here, on the ground, where people are being killed by Putin, who is trying to take our country just because he is crazy and he thinks that he can do it. We lost communications in San Francisco and San Diego. The status is attacking schools, unconcerned by the collateral damage. It appears that he has uh, the same lack of morals and scruples that Hitler had in the Second World War. I think that Adolf Hitler and Vladimir Putin are cut from the same cloth. No fly zone! Evil despotic, tyrant ruler Got me sipping hypnotic, psychotic Threat world war, it's not ironic Touch NATO turf and watch it go by In a sonic Super world power Politics, shit can go sour at any hour Building hit like towers, bomb scour People devour, buried in flower Threats a nuclear shower War criminal by name Speaking subliminal one Can only wonder what goes on in Putin's middle They shoot the nation, hate lots and murder from perpetrator God, if this a heaven, open the gate Murder at a high rate, gas continue to elevate Why the elite sit back and wait? If it's on, then it's on. Let the nation be torn, cross that line, and watch the nation, the country, swarm. Think about we not one single inch of NATO territory. We have sacred obligation. We have a sacred obligation under Article Five to defend each and every inch of NATO territory. say is Russia invading Ukraine is a very terrible thing. You know, in all my years of my life, you know, I never thought in a million years that I'd be here to see something like that. Witnessing the atrocities of the people of Ukraine and what they're going through. But to me, from what I see, it seems like it's a nightmare. These people wake up every day wondering whether they're going to live and die.
the devil has taken his throne.